So this isn't the sermon, but I want to say this. So um, watch what you desire, for from the heart flow all the issues of life. Really be careful of what you desire. Don't think that you can get away with it. If you follow through on a desire that you know will make it more difficult for you to see and hear the Lord, you can't get away with that. There will be something that will be seared, and you'll have to repent in order for that to be healed. That's the big warning. That's letting us be aware of the deceits of the evil one. Watch for that. Secondly, keep it a love relationship. Understand that he began by loving you with a full. When you see about giving yourself fully to him, it's simply answering his love. It's not making him love you, but it's putting you in a place where you can know that you're loved in a way you never could before. Because there's one human being who knows that he is loved infinitely in a way that we could know but do not know, and that's Jesus. He knew the Father's love. It wasn't a gamble for him. It wasn't maybe a myth. It was a reality. Brothers and sisters, God is wanting us to know the love of God in such a way that we know we're not into a myth, but that he is indeed worthy of our love. All of the whole heart, not just leaving back a bit, but the whole heart. If those things, just those couple of things, if they inform our spirits, we will be progressively changed. In all the words the Lord has said to us, from 10 years out to now, will be fulfilled. Really? It's pretty awesome to say, but it's true. So this word itself could be an answer to your prayer. You might have to review your notes, and you might have to seek the Lord about them. Of course, I hope you will. That's the only way to really be able to discern the voice of the Lord. Okay, that's, that's my epilogue.